pro impeachment proceedings in the, under the Constitution of Kenya is a preserve for the presidency. If you look at it, and even when you look at the impeachment of the president under Article 144 on grounds of medical, on medical grounds, and look at 145, it's not 145 that provides for impeachment. If you look at 181, uh, clause 1D, how would you impeach a governor on the basis of physical or mental incapacity? So I think that section 33 of the County Governments Act is an affront on the Constitution of Kenya. What was anticipated, and the Constitution cleverly uses the words removal and the words impeachment. And removal of the president is the only one where they qualify by saying, by impeachment. All other removals, Mr. Speaker, sir, are through processes that include the tribunals. Just the other day, we saw the National Assembly consider a motion to remove uh, commissioners of ABC, they went and there's a tribunal that has been formed. It's a full trial. It cannot, there's no provision in the Constitution of Kenya for putting a governor of any county of Kenya through a political trial. We should not violate the Constitution again. Article 33 needs to be looked at and Senator, expand. Senator Mtata, uh, you may be raising, you may be raising your points of order, not at the appropriate time. I'm guided, my, Your Honor. Yes. You'll guide uh, me when to raise them, please. If, if, if you read at the fourth, um, if you read at the fourth, uh, the third schedule, the rules of procedure for the hearing and determination of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of a governor. And uh, I'll take you straight all the way to uh, Regulation 13 and 14. Such preliminary objections have their space within the procedure. And therefore, if indeed uh, you are inclined to uh, move the way you're moving, then there is a time when you can actually bring those preliminary points and they'll be determined at that level.